is this the best evidence yet that life may have existed on Mars? Yes, I think it is. And essentially we found organic matter in rocks from an ancient lake on Mars. That lake was around uh, three and a half billion years ago. So the planet was a lot different back then. And we've had other clues that tell us that pretty much their water was around, there were nutrients around, and there was energy sources around. And now we have an evidence of organic material around. So essentially everything that life would need to be happy was there. We just don't know if there was life. The organic materials that we found could be from life, or perhaps they were just a possible food for life back then when the lake was around. Either way, it still bodes well for the search for life going forward. So let's take it one step further. Is it possible that some form of life still exists there? Does this give you any information about that? Well, we're not really sure if life has ever existed, but if um, life ever got established, it was probably really early on in Mars history, around the same time that a life got established on early Earth. At that point, the two planets were probably very similar. And Mars sort of took a different path. It lost its magnetic field, uh, the atmosphere started getting swept away, and a lot of radiation started hitting the surface, and it changed the planet significantly. And thus, Earth kind of took a different path. It developed a, a really diverse biosphere. And Mars, uh, if it ever had life, probably lost a lot of its biosphere. Now, now there, are the some there are some scientists who think that life would have uh, taken refuge in the subsurface if it ever existed. And it still may be there today. But there are other scientists who think that essentially the Mars biosphere is burnt out. So the Curiosity rover has been taking samples from Mars for five years now, and I know that this new information gives you new details on where and how to look, but what's next now that you know this? Well, the next step is to actually look for the biosignatures. These are basically imprints from life. You can imagine um, a dinosaur leaving a fossil behind in form of a skeleton. Well, microorganisms can leave behind chemical imprints of their existence, possibly even cell structures. And those are the types of things that we would look for in the ancient rocks as indicators of whether or not life used to exist on Mars at some point. And there's two, uh, there's two missions that are in the works right now that can shed light on this. The first one is from the European Space Agency, and it's the ExoMars rover that will launch in 2020. And it has the capability of drilling down two meters, which is a really important, um, uh, important uh, technology development because that means that they can get away from the radiation. They have the potential of getting to organic materials that are much better preserved than what Curiosity encountered in the top five centimeters. The other mission is one by NASA. It's called the Mars 2020 rover. And if it stumbles upon the right material, it can cache it. And at some point later, the plan is to come back and pick it up and bring those samples back to Earth for further analysis. And both of those could actually tell us a lot more about whether life ever existed on Mars and the potential for life to exist there today. And NASA is looking for life in the solar system outside of Mars. If it is somewhere else, what's most likely? Oh, it's anybody's guess. Uh, there's Mars subsurface, which is a good place to look for um, more recent life. Uh, there's the ancient rocks to look for the ancient life. On other places, uh, two really um, appealing places are ocean worlds. We call them Enceladus, which is a small moon that goes around Saturn. And the other one is Europa. Both of them have oceans underneath an icy crust. And it's possible that those oceans actually have something similar to what we imagine as the microbiology at um, hydrothermal vents in the oceans here on Earth. And if that's the case, then the ocean water could have uh, signatures of life in it, could be modern day cells, it could be old material, but things that um, would actually tell us if there had been life there. And if we can access that ocean material, then we can do a, a pretty good search for life. And if, right. that's the case, if that's the case, then uh, it might be a life that evolved independent of Earth, which would be pretty fascinating for, um, I think, everyone in general, but certainly the science community.